John Swain, we've been talking about this for a while. Yes, we have. Now, when this airs, it'll be November. People will be thinking about Thanksgiving. They'll be thinking about clever ways of cooking their turkey. This is uh, beyond kind of anything I've seen. I was talking to your son, and he told me about what you have done over the years. And I thought, wow, if that's not a country kitchen outdoor cooking segment, I don't know what is. First of all, the thing that fascinated me is it's outside. The big, the big draw here, 90 minutes for 12, 13 pound bird. 90 minutes, most of the time. Ridiculous. Mm. And good taste. And good taste. Most of the moisture is, remains in the bird and uh, it's tender as can be. And it's, uh, it's pretty, and it doesn't tie up the kitchen while somebody's trying to cook something else. Exactly, it doesn't mess anything up. Here's the deal. When you started talking about this, I think, well, it's, it's got to be terribly complicated. It's probably one of the easiest, and it makes so much sense. And it's right in the Dutch oven realm. Mm -hmm. It's convection cooking. Mm -hmm. That's in, exactly in right. Essence. Tell us how you start. First of all, how do you prepare your area? Need a pretty level surface uh, to, to work with. But you took you took a post. It's a cedar post. That's right. You covered it with aluminum foil. Correct. Then you capped it with aluminum foil. That's right. So, you know, you don't get it dirty on the sticker or anything. That's you right. basically knocked it into the ground. That's right. On top of aluminum foil that's already been spread on the ground. Then you take your bird. Legs down and impale the bird, essentially, on the stake. Now you also put salt and pepper on the inside and salt outside. Salt and pepper the on the inside and the outside of the bird before you before you put it onto the steak. Get the charcoal ready, put the charcoal on top of the one layer on top of the can, pile the rest of the charcoal around the perimeter of the can and let it cook. Come back 90 minutes later and see what you've got. You've got the taste of the charcoal? A little bit, just a hint. Just a hint. It's got because a it's little bit outside. of a smoky flavor to it. Most of the smoky flavor comes from its own juices mm -hmm. as it as it hits that hot side of that can and it and it smokes its own juices up inside the turkey. It's delicious. Now that is not your traditional full size trash can, I no, have noticed. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's a, a ten or fifteen gallon can. Probably ten. I can't remember. I've had it so long I can't remember what the what the size of it is. If you're gonna if you're gonna do this for the first time, it's probably a good idea to burn the can off mm -hmm. first any before you put a bird in it, anything. just to get the yeah. impurities burned out of it and uh, uh, any kind of a lingering, a lingering aroma that might get infused into the bird. I really like where you're going with this. And in the meantime, the oven is freed up in the house for doing right. whatever you know the the dressings or anything. And, and you made one more point that your wife said something about. Obviously, I guess you could put something in case some of the juice is under here, but she prepares ahead of time for that. She does. She starts a month or two months ahead of time and saves all the chicken broth that she generates and those fine meals she fixes me and uh, stores it and so that when it's time to make the dressing or, or the gravy or whatever else she needs, uh, she's ready to go. So she pretty much says, send you outside. Uh, she hadn't cooked a turkey and I don't know when. How, how many years realistically you think you've been doing this? Ah, uh, 20 or 25 probably. No mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Well, now we get to sit back and walk around, take a look at the cabin, yeah. go look at some other stuff, and then uh, we'll come back and check on it. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's see what we've got here. Just like Christmas, mm. I hope. I can't wait to see this. And when the 90 minutes is up, you can very carefully pick the, the can up off the turkey and see what it looks like. Stick a thermometer in there and get yourself up about 165 or 170. And we're there. 165. We got it. Wow. Chevy Chase would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> You had this timed exactly. You said we're going to check this at such and such time. We did. It's 165 degrees. So what's the first thing you carve off of this? I think it uh, goes back to the code of Hamya Rabbi that you're supposed to eat the crispy part off the neck first. Okay. So I think should you should. I? I think you should. Oh, Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. Plenty moist, even though it's crisp. Got a little bit of a... Just a hint of a smoky flavor to it. My wife knew I was coming over here today to do this with you, and we agreed that you shouldn't eat good turkey like this without some cranberry sauce. So she got up early this morning and handmade a little bit of 
cranberry sauce for us to use with this turkey. So I mean, this is that? fresh cranberry sauce. Out of cranberry. It's fresh. Yeah, that's that's wow. not a that's not jelly out of a can. Yes. Give me some of that. Out there. Yeah. That looks just some on there, there, brother. And what's her name? Marilyn. Marilyn, thank you so much. She is the queen of the good. kitchen. Try that. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow. Now, let's cut a big. You want to get a little bit of it in? Oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. You like dark meat? Oh yeah. That's why we we got him upside down, but that's where the dark meat is. To me, it's richer. Mm -hmm. Has a fuller flavor. I like my favorite part of a chicken. Try is a that. Pie. Look at that. Look man. how juicy that is. Mm -hmm. Look at the moisture in that. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm. 90 minute outdoor turkey. 90 minute outdoor turkey. Try John's that. Try that little 90 piece minute, right there. With the skin, there you go. Now see, now you're talking. Mm. Wow. Low maintenance bird. I want to thank you for turning me on to something that I'm definitely going to do. Well, and I, I guarantee you these folks out here are going to be trying this. Well, good. This is a beautiful thing. And I know your son, who's standing right over there, he does this. His kids are going to do it. Mm -hmm. Their kids are going to do it. This is in your family now. Mm. And you've kind of passed it down to ours as well, because yeah. I know we're all going to be doing this. Well, thank you for the opportunity to participate with you. Thank you so much. All right. Perfect. Let's rip it apart. Yeah.